core, one of my favorite topics, the core, because I think it's the most misunderstood thing in fitness. I think everyone can agree that it's important. We hear this word all the time and we know it's important. But I don't think we understand the true concept. So here we go, we're going to start applying these scopes. It's the foundation. Okay? It's the foundation to your body, it's the foundation to movement. If we think about the foundation of our home, there's a reason it's built out of concrete and steel. Because we don't want it to move. Okay? When we're running, we don't want our core to move. We don't want our pelvis to move. We want it to stabilize. Okay? When we put a foundation to a home, there's a reason why the second and third floors have tile and stonework and beautiful hardwood floors and all these kind of things. Because the foundation's rock solid. Okay? When a tornado or high winds roll through, it's the foundation that's not moving. Okay, so think about that in context to your core. And now think about in context of what exercises are you choosing for your core. Are they foundational or are they moving? Energy leaks. They can cost us big time. This winter's been terrible. My El Genevo has, God, has been like $400, I think. Um, and if we have leaks, if my house isn't well insulated, okay, what's going to happen? The furnace is just going to run harder and longer. And then at the end of the month, I get the LG&E bill for $600, and I pay it, and I'm pissed off, and then I go on. Now, if we have energy leaks in our body, though, because if our core isn't rock solid, we don't have LG&E. We don't have an unlimited supply of energy. Two things are going to happen. One, we're going to decrease performance. We're going to not be as fast in the race as we thought. Or two, we're going to get hurt. Get hurt. Okay? So think about those concepts when we're thinking core exercises, when we're thinking about you know, what, uh, you know, we see an infomercial for the ab ripper, glider, <laughs> shredder, 3010, that can give you a six pack in five minutes. You know, and then next week it's 3004 and it gives you six pack in four minutes. Okay? No, the core is a lot more than six pack, that's it. It's a lot more than just abs. Okay? A couple different definitions to keep in mind for concepts. Some people will say from shoulders to your knees. Shoulders to your knees are your core. I like the definition of anything that touches your pelvis, attaches to your pelvis, is a core muscle, about 27 sets of muscles. 